Why should you learn to see the aura? Well, other than it's a pretty cool experience to be able to see something that most people think doesn't even exist or is invisible, science has proven that subtle energies affect us whether we want to believe in it or not. Energy is everywhere. Good energy, bad energy. And if you can tune into energy and see it like the aura, then you can affect how this energy impacts you in your life. So here we go. Here's how to see the aura. And here's how to see it on someone else. What you want to do is ask them to stand about 10 feet away. And they should stand on something like what I have, which is a plain white or a plain black background. And basically what you want is you just want something without any patterns because that's going to make it harder to see the actual aura. Next, look at the person's nose right about here. And you want to look with a relaxed gaze. That means you don't want to stare. Don't look at the nose because the nose isn't the aura. What you want to do is you want to stare at the nose and then with the relaxed gaze, use your peripheral vision. The peripheral vision basically means looking out of the corner of your eyes. Here's the cool thing. Your eyes are curved, which means that they can see a different spectrum of light on the side, on the corner of your eyes than you can head on. So what you'll first see around their head and shoulders is basically a transparent fog. Here's the thing. The aura when you first see it appears very transparent. Have you ever gone out on a hot day and you're looking at a car or a sidewalk and you'll see those heat waves kind of like shimmering? That's what it'll look like, but it's just going to be barely just an inch to maybe half an inch just off their shoulders and around their head. Once you catch it, you just want to keep your gaze relaxed. Don't get excited and stare right at it because then it's probably going to disappear. Okay, so once you catch it, just quietly observe it just watch it and just notice it. It's like you're just studying it. And as you begin to study it, that's when the aura is going to start to grow brighter and to come more into focus. Now, if you're looking at their nose and you're trying to use your peripheral vision and you can't quite catch it, move your vision from right at their nose to the center of their forehead. Just a slight movement up. Sometimes just that slight movement is all it takes to just catch it just for the first time. Because what you're trying to do is just notice it and once you notice it, just to stay on it until you can see that it changes just a little bit. Some people can see the aura right away. Others take a few minutes. Don't be discouraged. Anybody can see it. Now, this is probably something that for sure is going to happen. At some point, you're going to be seeing the aura, you're going to be practicing with it, and you're going to blink. And when you blink, it's going to completely disappear. Don't panic. This happens to everybody. Here's the funny thing, is that your mind, your consciousness, is plugged into your brain and your body, right? Whenever you blink like that, it tells your consciousness to reset. So remember, because you're watching the aura, you're tuning into that frequency of energy. As soon as you blink, it drops you back down to where you were before. The more you practice, the less this is gonna happen. But in the beginning, it is gonna happen. It happens to everybody. Just practice and you'll get your way through it. Now let's say you're by yourself and here's how to practice seeing your own aura. We're gonna start with your hand. And so what you wanna do is just like with a person, you want to find a plain background, white, black, whatever, and you want to extend your hand in front of you. Now, you want to soften your gaze, and actually you want to stare right at the center of your palm, kind of like you're looking at the per person's nose. So you're looking at it, but in a relaxed way. And you want to look around the edges of your hand and your fingers. And ever so slowly, you want to start squishing your fingers together and then spreading them apart and just see if you can even notice an outline around your fingers. Just squish them together and then spread them apart. And if you squish your fingers together, then just start moving your hand like you're waving at yourself, just kind of slowly side to side. And it's the same thing just like with a person, is you're just trying to notice that faint outline first. And once you catch the outline, sometimes the movement helps, but once you catch that faint outline, you want to stop, and then you just want to, in a relaxed way, just focus on trying to bring the aura more into view. The movement is just trying to get the aura to move into just the right spot in your peripheral vision, and then sometimes you'll notice it just kind of pops right out. And here's the cool thing. You can also do it with your foot. And I used to do this all the time when I was lying in bed. I'd wake up in the morning, you know, 15 minutes early, and I would just move my foot. I would just twist it back and forth, and I would look at the aura around my toes and study my foot.